what we have here is a MEMS device that's scanning a laser beam from this laser diode through an optical lens. It's being driven by this high voltage amplifier and controlled by an FPGA board in this example of 3D tracking. Basically what this device is uh, doing right now is scanning a spiral search pattern in a, f in a volume in its field of view where it's trying to find an object that it can track. We're going to mark objects with this retroreflective tape and one little piece of tape is going to return enough uh, light back to the sensor so that the device can continue to track it. In this case, a piece of tape is just um, glued onto this box and once the box enters the field of view, the device now stops searching and is just going to continue tracking the object. As Roger is moving the box, the laser continues to follow it because the device is scanning appropriately and of course those uh, positions are available to us in the computer so we know the position of Roger's object. We could use any other kind of object, in this case Nathan has a pair of tweezers and we put a little piece of tape onto the pair of tweezers and now he's going to take over the beam Now the tracked object is a pair of tweezers. It's in another example we have a cell phone. We placed a little sticker on the cell phone. Now the cell phone is being tracked with 3D volume and it could be used as some kind of a remote control device or a gaming device. Again we see the scanning system and the cell phone <laughs> is ringing. <laughs>